Well, after reading this, it is really hard to tell what is coming next. According to Reuters, recent filing from Antara Capital indicates that they simply cut their stake into the APE units. According to them, as per SEC filing, Antara Capital cut its stake into the APE units by 3.4% as of August 4th from 6.5% of June 22nd. And again, guys, this is coming in times in when on Saturday we went through an article sharing that Antara doubled down on AMC common stock, holding a little over 9%, purchasing additional 64 million shares. So what is the logic behind that? Why they will be doubling down on AMC common and dumping the ape? Are they afraid that they have to prove about the swing trading of the ape units in court because some of the individual investors filed a lawsuit against them? Question number one. Or they probably believe that simply AMC common stock is a better play in terms of their own trading. Remember, we don't actually know what is the plan in place from Antara Capital. Are you gonna swing trade? Are you gonna simply, you know, buy the common uh, shares and then hedge with particular options on the side? The idea over here is that they were very big, very heavy on Ape, the largest institutional uh, investor in the Ape, 10%. Little by little, they start reducing and dumping their position. Simultaneously, they were trading options on AMC Common. Now the game has changed. Over 9% ownership in AMC Common and reducing their ownership according to this filing to a uh, very simple 3.4%. What do you think about this? Well, probably they don't expect to get a good deal due to the conversion, due to the reverse stock split. So they most likely will be looking to get a completely different price action because think about it. If you buy 60 million shares of equity X and dump, you know, a certain percentage of equity Y, you expecting equity X, the one that you just purchased to go higher or at least to remain at the current value. While they dump the equity Y, expecting that most likely we will go down, which in my opinion, it's, it's a very tricky to say it. how hard it is to say it. Because at the end of the day, even if the ape goes lower, still, will be converted if again there is no additional objections into amc common stock so especially for them the largest institutional shareholder they're the one who will be more intrigued to hold the ape and convert the ape into amc especially now seeing that they really want to have more amc common purchasing more amc common and of course on saturday when i shared the article with you about this recent purchase from the sec filing a lot of you said, but how come is that even possible? We have a thousand percent borrowing fees indicating almost no shares available for borrowing or extremely hard to find shares to be borrowed. So this means that there is no shares out there. How they found 64 million shares? That's the biggest question over here. It's something that we don't want to do math on it, but they purchased, according to the article, the 64 million shares on the prices above four dollars. And if you look at the prices of AMC closing Friday. If you look at the prices AMC today, down a large sum of, of percentage wise, right? You understand that uh, at this point, doesn't look like they, they have done a good deal. The app also is down, which kind of indicates that the market is not sure which one is the better deal, especially on the institutional level side. I want you to think about all the hedge funds who said we're gonna go long ape and short amc how they're gonna feel about uh, the price action today when both securities are down essentially they don't see which one should be on the surface and which one below the surface so let me know what do you guys think about this why they are dumping ape and probably gonna dump all of it i can speculate uh, that they probably have planned to dump it right before the actual conversion which again for me makes no sense largest ape holder you know doesn't want to wait until the conversion again if the conversion happens a lot of people said it's not over it's not finished it's not final i understand that but why would they want to dump the ape before the conversion and of course most important question is why they buying more amc stock or how they find more amc stock on the open market yeah.